congratulations for the film. I wonder how important was for you being an actor, playing a, a, a fellow actor, and, and to bring the not just professional experience, but just life experience to, to this role. It was intimidating in some ways, but but you know the more I learned about uh, Bill uh, William Frawley, uh, the more I, I realized we had in common. You know, and 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 as Aaron Peppers, you know, threw out the script. I mean, he's a guy who started out on stage as I did. He's you know we're we're almost exactly the same age uh, when we were making this movie as Bill was in the second season of I Love Lucy. Um, you know. He's a crabby old curmudgeon, not unlike myself. I mean, there was there was a lot of common ground. I think it doesn't hurt that I'm an actor playing an actor, if that makes sense. You mm -hmm. know, um, <clears throat> and there are certain things that I think other people, you know, might not feel as deeply if you don't have those experiences. And I know for for Vivian, that was the big the big wrestling match for her was wanting so badly to cling on to who she used to be and then being told she had to be boxed in as as Ethel. And I think that was very painful for her. We see and hear Lucille saying that she really wants to feel at home. And I wonder, what do you need to feel at home at a, at a film set? And what can you do when you just don't? Well, you know, when you don't, you just you try to be a professional and power through and do your job. And, and you know, that's sometimes the case. But in the best of uh, scenarios, which this was one, of which this was one, um, you always have to be very careful with your language when you're talking about an Aaron Sorkin movie. It's, it's, it's intimidating, the, the pressure. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the ultimate team game, I, I think, show business, making a movie, uh, doing a play, making a TV show. And uh, if it's not a collaborative, team-oriented uh, set, then it's much less fun going to work every day. And uh, Aaron Sorkin, who, you know, I think people can oversimplify and think of him as, oh, he's, he's a genius with language, which of course he is. Every word has to be exactly, and he's going to be this, you know, dictatorial director. Uh, that couldn't have been less true of, of the experience that we all had working with each other and working with him. How much time did you have to, to get to that place, to that rhythm, to feel that way with Jake and Simmons and, and the rest of the cast? Oh, I wish I had more time. You know, you always do afterwards. Um, but, we, you know, we didn't have a lot of rehearsal time, so we all came with our own kind of arsenals. And luckily, we all stepped onto a set that was, I mean, totally ego-free. Everyone was there to serve the story. And everyone was there to play. So right away, you had these incredible playmates to kind of figure things out with. You have worked with the best actors in the business. Uh, we have uh, Nicole Kidman, we have Javier Bardem and others. Is there something that you recognize in these very, very special individuals that is unique? Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's there's a vast range of, of styles of, of acting and, and styles of actors that you'll work with uh, in, in addition to, you know, ranges of, of, of uh, whatever competence or ability or experience or or, or passion or uh, inspiration um, but the things that uh, that we that we find in common I think with actors that we really enjoy working with is again that that basically that that same collaborative uh, experience and the ability to um, whether it's something you're doing that's kind of improvisational or whether it's something where the language is very specific, like with an Aaron Sorkin script, uh, the ability to uh, to be present in the moment and to listen to each other is, is uh, uh, to me, of uh, paramount importance. There is a character that keeps saying, listen, this is what you need to understand. This is what you need to understand. What was the main thing that you ended up understanding about the real life story? The, the most important thing is that the one thing Vivian was not was Ethel. That's what I learned about Vivian. And I think overall, there's nothing funny about comedy, if that makes sense. It's a very, very serious business. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations again. 
Thank you so much. Sorry for asking a kind of geeky superhero question, but I saw Michael Keaton in an interview saying that he doesn't really understand the whole thing about multiverses and DC and Marvel. He shows up and does his best. And I wonder if that's the same case for you. Yeah, I, I, I think we're, we're a couple of Midwest guys that just like show up and do our thing. And, uh, and uh, um, yeah, I, I, I don't understand all the multiverses of the the DC universe says, or the Marvel universe says, but but I, whenever I have the good fortune to be involved in one of them, I, I I let I let the people you know who actually understand that stuff, you know, tell me what to what to do and how to do it. And it's working very well. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations again. Thank you, Nestor. My my pleasure.